Well, there was another court appearance today for a couple from Cheektowaga who remain persons of interest in connection with the shooting spree at a Buffalo apartment complex that left a three-year-old dead. A judge revoked the bail previously set for one of them as prosecutors revealed more possible evidence linking him to the shootings. Here's Channel 2's Dave McKinley. At a hearing in Cheektowaga Town Court, a judge ruled there was enough reasonable cause to hold 22-year-old Daquan Richardson and 25-year-old John A. Robinson on suspicion of felony crimes. The two were charged with possession of illegal drugs and weapons. Those charges were filed after a raid on their Slate Creek Drive apartment in Cheektowaga last Tuesday. That was less than 24 hours after the shooting spree at the Ferry Grider Apartments, which injured four, including three-year-old Shaquille Walker, who later died. The Prosecutor also revealed more about a semi-automatic rifle seized from the apartment and a potential link to the shootings. The uh, 223 fired cartridge cases at the scene of that shooting um, appear to be uh, the same um, type of cartridge cases, 223 cart cartridge cases that were found um, as live rounds at, at the apartment. Um, specifically, they have the same head markings, the same primer composition, and they're made from the same material. There were some members of that little boy's family present in the courtroom today, and at times they did struggle to keep their composure. It's a hard time for my family right now. We just have a tremendous loss. Shaquille Walker's great-grandmother spoke to reporters after the hearing. I don't want to be so cruel, but I think they deserve don't, don't. everything. But because that was coming. just so unnecessary for them to just shoot up like that. So whatever the law can do, mm -hmm. you'd like the maximum. Yep. Yeah. 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 I hope they never be able to walk the streets again. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.